Good morning, my grade five students. By the way, this is Miss Elmi, and I hope you are all doing great, guys, at home. Always stay safe. So before I start this lesson, I would like to say thank you for all your effort in completing your test in Qatar history. Several of you really did a good job, and I hope you will keep it up, guys. And also a reminder to some who still have some pending tests, so please follow it up. Anyway, I recorded this lesson to explain further and wrap up the important things or important key concepts of this lesson, the importance of heritage in Qatar. So now let's begin with our learning objective. So for us to state the importance of national heritage. So in lesson one, we already discussed the concept of heritage, right? But to recall, when you say heritage, it is something or means everything that our fathers and forefathers have passed down generation after generation. And when you say national heritage, it can refer to cultural heritage of a certain nation. Right, so here are some examples of heritage in Qatar. All right. So as I've said, in the concept of heritage, guys, we talk about its types, all right? So we have two types of heritage. So we have material heritage and non-material heritage. So when you say material, it is something tangible, that's something you can see, something that you can feel, right? So we have examples here like towers, we have castles and forts. And then when you say non-material heritage, another way of saying is something intangible. So it is the intellectual and literary heritage like our customs, and traditions, beliefs, and traditional knowledge, such as stories, uh, like songs, and poetry. Now let's talk about the importance of heritage for Qatar. So heritage has an important or has significant importance with regard to its prosperity and advancement of people and communities. So therefore, guys, nations like Qatar are or is competitive for reviving and preserving their or its significant heritage. And as they said, those who have no past have no present. Do you agree with it? All right, so let's find out more how heritage is important for the individual and the society. So first, to preserve the national identity of the society. So this means People gain main features of their lifestyle and customs through their national heritage or national heritage. So for example, the way you dress up, the way of greetings we have, our music, our certain cultural activity, and even our celebration of national holiday guys are all patterns from the past. Okay, then number two, to study the history of our country. So definitely our heritage provides us some ideas about our past and how our society has evolved. And also says here, preserving heritage is important in learning about our history and civilization of our forefathers. So it helps us to understand our history and traditions. It helps us to understand and explain why we are the way we are. Okay, and number three, passing down the experiences of parents and grandparents to children. All right, so let's have here. So mothers, actually guys, it's mothers are used to teach their daughters some um, cultural heritage skills such as sewing, hand embroidery, weaving, and many things. I'll look at these pictures. And fathers also used to teach their sons horse riding, hospitality, and receiving guests. Right here. So doing all these things, children will be able to inculcate guys the values of respect and tolerance. And it is a great foundation that you are being taught at home and at school to be a responsible and a good member of our society. 
Okay, so with all those importance of cultural heritage in our society, Qatar makes an effort to preserve its heritage in what way? So let's find out. First, by constructing museums. So we have here some examples of museums. So can you name or can you guess the name of each museum we have here? So first we have National Museum of Qatar. Okay. This is the one that just opened in public in 28th of March last year. So today's 2020, so 2019 it was open in public nice. And then second one, we have Mushabri Museum. So this one is set in four restored homes or historic heritage houses in the newly Mushabri downtown. And the third one, this is the Museum of Islamic Art. So this is the one that we have in Cornish and it was established on 22nd of November, 2008. Then it opened in public on December 8th of the same year. Okay, here. So we've been here already guys, right? Remember when we had a trip last time. Okay, so let's proceed to number two. So repairing and restoring Qatar historic sites. Okay, so Qatar has worked hard to establish itself as the region's hub for art and cultures. So here, let's have some example. Okay, first one is Varsan Tower. So it is located in the suburbs of Doha in the village of Amsal al Mohammed. The recently restored towers were built between 1910 and 1916 and when you say Barzan means the high place. So 1910 to 1916, so if you're going to subtract the year today, it's like uh, it's more than 100 years already. And then this fort, this is called al Wajwa Fort. So remember grade five, that was a battle we had tackled in a previous lesson. Yes, it is where Qarabi forces defeated the Ottoman in 1893. See, it was built in the late 18th or 19th century and is one of the oldest forts tourists will discover in Qatar. Okay, and number four, I mean number three, the Heritage Village was created display to display popular artistic activities combining the past and present. So here's some examples of pictures. So it is actually, guys, a mock-up of traditional Qatari seaside settlement. It is a hub of different kinds of activities with locals like weaving, pearl trading, and practicing different kinds of crafts. Okay, so it is a place where a lot of tourists, because it really reflects, guys, the, the way uh, Qatari people lives before and you can find several things that really reflects about their cultures and tradition. Okay, at number four, teaching children the heritage of their fathers and grandparents. So I'm quite sure grade five that you've learned a lot of things from your parents and I believe that all parents endeavor to instill good family values in their children. And here, guys, this is the summary of our lesson. So first, let me read it for you. So heritage plays a significant role in preserving national identity for numbers or for members of the society. Number two, heritage has significant importance in informing us of the history and civilization of our ancestors. Three, heritage has a significant importance in transferring experiences from parents to children and allowing them to acquire morals and values. And four, color pays significant attention to the preservation and development of its heritage. And the one thing that I want you to remember, guys, we enjoy the best days of our lives because of the past struggles of our ancestors. So let's all help preserve our heritage. Okay, so that's for today's lesson. Please let me know if you have some question, you have some query about our topic for today. Okay, always take care and I hope to see you soon, guys. Bye.